Layla Ali is in the building. What's it like being at the ESPYs again this year? Hot. I'm just playing. <laughs> right? We're always sweating, and yes. every year I'm like, oh, it's going to be so hot, but it's so worth it. Breeze. Yes. Oh, there breeze. is a breeze. Yes. That was an Ali breeze. Yes. I feel like your daddy yes. was like, here he you was. go, baby. He's, here. He's like, girl, be positive. Do you speak to him? I'm um, convinced people who are connected to their loved ones. I always feel him. I will say that. I feel him. I feel him there. You know, I did the humanitarian, the ESPN Humanitarian Awards last night. There's an Ali Award, and I just feel his presence. So yes. it's always, you know, there. So, yeah. It's such a beautiful thing in women's sports right now. What are your thoughts watching the U.S. women's soccer team kick butt? I'm like, go girl. You know, I love to see women out there doing their thing, being champions, being winners. I mean, going Unapologetically. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. And then being able to say, look, now pay us what we're worth. You know, and they're not only thinking about themselves, they're thinking about the young girls that are coming behind them, which is amazing. But the, the fight starts now. You know? Do you think it's going to happen? It'd be nice. It'd be nice. You know what I mean? Um, I'm hoping it does. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. But I think that with all this pressure, I don't see what are you going to say now is the reason for it not exactly. happening. Exactly, the whole world was yeah. watching. In that. women's boxing, there was lots of excuses. It's like, oh, well, women only fight two minutes, and women this, and women that. They don't bring the audience. You can't say that with women's soccer. So now what? Now what? what? Okay, <laughs> says Layla. I think anytime we see athletes taking a stand, it reminds people of Muhammad Ali. It's really hard for me to compare people to my father because he put so much on the line. But you don't expect people to do that. No. Um, it was a different time. You know, it was different things were necessary. Um, but I think that any stand that you take for what you believe in is a good stand. You know what I mean? Your dad was gangster with it. Like, I just saw a special on PBS. I was like, I had no idea. I had no idea. He was like, what you going to do? What? Like, he was fully on. Well, he was faced with so much. His livelihood being taken away when they wanted him to go to the war and he yeah. was standing up for his religion. There was so much at stake. And, and so of course, much. with all the civil rights. So there was a lot on his back and he had to take a stand. And that was a time when, you know, he didn't have an entourage. No. He didn't have to worry. He wasn't worried about his money or his contracts or none of that. He's an individual sport. And it was really just about who he was as a man. You now, know? I know they already did the movie and you approved of that movie. But like what, Kadot, what, what Rashida did with her dad, Quincy, where she was executive producing her dad's movie. Are you interested in doing anything like that going forward, or do you think the story has been told? You know, told? I haven't had anything to do with anything that's been put out on my father, and um, I'm not, I'm like, I, I don't have an issue with that. You know what okay. I mean? I think that for so many years, his wife Lonnie was in control of everything, so we kind of got used to her handling being things, at being at the forefront, making the decisions. And so, you're giving the thumbs up? I'm giving, it is what it is, okay. so it wouldn't really, it wouldn't really matter, you know, but I haven't, I, I, I just try not to burden myself with that, you know. Got it. Because yeah. you have your memories, and yeah. we've, there are yes. enough things that have been yes. told there about was, him. There was so much that happened before I was even born. Right. You know, so it's not like I'm be like, I'm his daughter. I'm going to be the one. I'm the youngest, actually. There's nine of us. Wow, I didn't so, know you were the yeah, youngest. Yeah, I'm the public one, but I would say if anyone was going to do anything, it'd be like my sister May May or my sister Hannah, who is like Muhammad Ali, knows everything about my dad, daddy's really? girl. She's yeah, it's not me. Girl. Oh, that's my sister. What did, now, how do you stay in, in, involved in sports? Now, I know you're not boxing now, but how are you training people? Are you advising? Well, I would say just my involvement in the Women's Sports Foundation, which is Billie Jean King's organization. I'm involved with it. I was a past president, so I'm always around. Um, I also still work out. I have my own line of nutrition supplements, Uplenish. Um, so I'm dealing with athletes and individuals who just want to live their best life through their health and wellness. So, you know, but it's, in terms of just concentrate on sports not really we we're gonna hopefully talk to Billy today but oh, yeah. but the whole thing with Coco Gr Gruff mm -hmm. um, like now they can't say it was an anomaly with the w Williams right. sisters isn't that nice what did you think about her like the fact that she was able to beat Venus I think that it was great because she looked up to Venus and to just know like wow I'm I can be just as great as she can yes. you know and to be such a young girl you know and the thing is is that we all have our moment and then we end up going on our way out and it's nice to see another young girl coming up behind her so who was probably influenced by the Williams sisters absolutely that's yeah. what I'm saying for sure she that's looked up to them works. yeah and our daughters are looking up to the yes. next um, are your kids athletic? My daughter is actually playing tennis now. Um, she's not loving it yet, but she okay. is such an athlete. She can do anything she wants to do. And she's so young, she doesn't know what she wants. So I'm yeah. staying, uh, keeping her encouraged. She's having fun. But I show her girls like Coco and uh, Serena and Venus. And I love how poised they are and how they carry themselves as well. Absolutely. Because to me, it's important to carry yourself properly on the court and off the court. Just full circle. Your daughter might have a little pressure in the athletic department with mommy and daddy both being athletes. It's hard to to, like pull back as a parent she right? has no idea she's only eight she has no idea so it's just like I just tell her you can be 
as great as you want to be. It's, it just depends on how much work you put in. And if you don't want to become an athlete, that's fine too. I want her to do what makes her happy. But I just want her to know that she has it in her because I didn't participate in sports early. I didn't know that I had it in me no. until I became a boxer. Not at all. I, was, I, I didn't. Shocking. No, I didn't participate in sports at all. And I just wish that I did. That's a big regret of mine. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.